When business leaders move portions of their companies offshore, they typically send offshore units their lowest status and least valuable work. Many CEOs don't expect offshore workers to innovate because they're not usually what they were hired to do. But what if some offshore units were actually the perfect environments for wide-ranging innovation? By studying an Indian engineering unit belonging to a large U.S. auto firm, scholars found that engineers in India were indeed being given low-value work. But because they were testing issues for sectors of the company that normally didn't interface, the Indian engineers were uniquely positioned to see problems and solutions from around the globe. As they tested issues for engineers in Australia, for example, they could relay those issues and potential solutions to engineers in Brazil. Or they could even innovate new solutions based on their position in the middle of the company's information network. Once they had solutions, engineers in India used social networking to build relationships with engineers in other countries. These relationships ultimately enabled them to sell innovations up the line, resulting in positive changes to old corporate engineering practices. If you thought today's offshoring was yesterday's offshoring, then grab this paper. It may just give you a new horizon to follow. Hmm.